My name is Jake and I have been in the military for the last 15 years. I also have been instructing wilderness survival. Uh, today we came out and we tested uh, a Bark River Knife Fox River model. If we're going to be a hiker and uh, if things were to go horribly wrong and bad and we had to stay the night, would this be a knife that we could depend on? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set some traps and see what I can find. What I'm looking for are some straight sticks so that I can uh, go ahead and uh, cut the stuff I'm going to need for a trap. Okay, I've got uh, some straight sticks here, so or a straight uh, tree. I'm going to bend it I'm right here at this bend. I'm going to take this knife and just apply pressure. Didn't even need to use my batoning stick. The Scandi grind that was put on the knife is is amazing. This uh, shorter blade, it's only four and a quarter inches, is really handy in a situation like this because it's not so long that I I don't have control over the end. I can use the whole blade and still get the force that I need. I'm going to take this and cut it down here lower. It was a full tang knife. It, we weren't worried about breaking the handle. We weren't worried about snapping the blade. We've got a big tooth maple over here. Again, because this blade is so short, I can use my opposite hand to control and help with the pressure that I need to get this to cut all the way through. This model is um, actually in their hunting series. I didn't ever actually use it for what it was intended for. And like any good outdoorsman knows, you need to have a knife that's capable of functioning however you need to use it, whenever you need to use it. We're going to make two traps. We're going to make a figure four and we're going to make a Paiute. Both of these are deadfall traps, so we're going to need a really heavy weight. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to use this knife again. We're going to cut some steaks. You're not going to do that with just a normal knife. That's going to ruin it. This thing, the blade's not even getting nicked. And look at this. Look how fine those curls are coming off. This thing is a beast. Oh, man. It's about an inch thick. And uh, that's how hard that was. That, that's seasoned. But it'll make a really good steak. That's another thing that I'm doing with this blade that I don't recommend anyone does. As I'm doing, as I'm catching this, I'm torquing on this. And that's causing a lot of pressure on the blade itself. Normal blades would snap. I have never had a knife that could go through this amount of abuse and not have to be sharpened. That's a great, great product. Rock River Knives. But if I push against these two oppositely like this, you can see that they oppose each other. The force opposes itself so it will slip or it'll hold. So now when I set this up I, it'll do the same thing. And there's our figure four. The way it's designed the best thing to do with it, this is sharpen it and then bait the end of that stick so the animal will pull on it. Like that. Here's all we need is one of these pieces of this gut from this 550 cord.
Now, on this piece with this cut here, I'm going to tie a double half inch. There we go, it's set. And it does this. This knife is going to be the one tool that you can depend on more than anything else not to fail you. All right guys, thanks for watching. Huge thanks to Jake for helping us out with this field test. You can get this knife at bladehq.com. This knife was stellar, it held up to the test and as you saw at the end of the video, he was still able to shave his arm hair. That is insane. So, this is an awesome knife. You can get it at bladehq.com. Go get yours today. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date on all the videos we're putting out. Epic awesomeness, just like you saw today, every Wednesday. So, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching. See you later. To be able to coat this with oil in the field, all you have to do is take it wipe it through your hair with the back of the blade going forward so that you don't cut off your scalp yourself. Wipe it through your hair a few times, back a little bit, and that's enough oil to actually keep the blade from rusting.